Good afternoon and welcome to southern Burundi where this slightly over commercialized fountain is the source of the river Nile. Now there are four competing sources to the river Nile. There's the Blue Nile which provides most of the water and most of the silt to the river Nile and the source is in Ethiopia. I've been there. Then there is Ripon Falls outside Kampala in Uganda. Now Ripon Falls was given the title of source of the Nile by the geographers in the 1800s, the Speaks and the Livingstons, and to be frank, they weren't right. Because when you go west out of Lake Victoria, you get the Akagera River forming the border between Uganda and Tanzania. It then turns south and forms the border between uh, Rwanda and Tanzania. It then turns west and forms the border between Rwanda and Burundi and then it breaks into two. One branch goes up into northern Rwanda and back into southern Rwanda into the Nyuange State Forest. That is said to be the furthest point from the mouth of the Nile and is said to be the longest source. And I've been there too. But in Burundi you've got a place which is the southernmost point of the Nile which is said to be the southern source of the Nile and that's here. Now there's no point coming to the source of the River Nile if you don't drink from it. So Dr Livingston I presume this is the source of the Nile. <laughs> this pyramid marks the summit just above the, the southernmost source here in Burundi was first discovered by a German Dr. Waldecker, I should say first discovered by a white person, by a German Dr. Waldecker in 1934. This in Burundi is known as the southernmost source and marked by this. And from about 1934, the modern geographers declared this to be the source of the Nile. The problem with that narrative is the Nyuenge State Forest, when measuring the whole length of the Nile, is actually furthest apart. So the Rwandans claim their source of the Nile is the furthest point, and the Burundians claim their source of the Nile is the southernmost point. So if you want to visit the source of the Nile, you've kind of got to go to four places. You've got to go to Ethiopia and visit the source of the Blue Nile, which I have, which provides the most water and the most silt. You go to Uganda, to Ripon Falls, which I have, to go to the place that Livingston, Speak and Stanley declared the source of the Nile. And then to cover them all off, you come here to Burundi to do the south and you go to Rwanda to go to the furthest point. And I've done all four. Who would have thought just near the source of the River Nile is a natural hot spring? Because Burundi, like a lot of Central Africa, is very volcanic. And I reckon the water here would be I don't know, 32, 33 degrees Celsius, something like that. And just look around. This is probably the most natural and most remote hot spring I have ever been to here in Burundi, near the source of the Nile. On the 25th of September, 1871, at this rock is said to be the place where Stanley said to Dr. Livingston, Dr. Livingston, I presume, this rock is just outside Bujumbura and I'm currently surrounded by goats and children. But this is also a place of great irony and this is why. People like Dr. Livingston, were, who was the greatest explorer and geographer of his time, were desperate to find the source of the River Nile. And when they found Lake Victoria in the center of Uganda and Tanzania, they thought a great big lake met a nice romantic story of a big lake feeding a big river. So they declared Ripon Falls outside Kampala as the source of the White Nile. So the irony of this rock is while Livingston and Stanley were searching for the source of the Nile and they declared it to be many hundreds of kilometers that way in Uganda, they are actually almost exactly between the, or the midpoint between the southernmost source in Burundi and the furthest most source in Rwanda. So how's that for irony? While they're next to this rock, they say the source is a thousand kilometers away and in fact they're smack bang in between the two sources that modern geographers say are the real source of the River Nile. 